Is this cool? <laughs> so, and it's hard to explain this, right? Even the pictures don't do this justice. Right. Because you will not, I mean, this is nature's beauty. This is not anything any person has done. This is billions of years of nature's creation. Very cool, isn't it? All right, everybody, look over to the door side of the bus. It's kind of in the shade back there, almost behind the bus. We'll see it again here in a second. That is called the Zion Arch, or the Great Arch. We'll see it again here in just a minute when we do our last switchback, I think. Um, that might have, well, I don't know, might be one more. No, I think that was the last one. We'll see it again on the way out also. The sun is gonna be on it this afternoon, so you'll see it better. Now that alcove is totally natural. So what, remember yesterday when I talked about the clay and how the clay pops out and creates a little cave and then it rose bigger and bigger? Kind of the same thing over here. So what happens is there's weak spots in the rock because remember this is just sand that has petrified, so it's hard to be turned into a rock. So over time, shards of this rock has just slipped off and it's fallen down to the bottom of the canyon and crumbled into all these rocks. See all these rocks? If you look out across the canyon, there's all these little rocks, right? Or actually huge rocks. Because those have broken off from the top and has slid down and then they've broken up over the years. So that's how that arch formed. Pieces have just fallen out and because just the way that um, Damn. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Well, nature, it kind of erosion. They, it goes towards a arch shape. Oh, oh my God. So it's very so cool. We'll see the arch here again in a, in a second, but we'll see it better this afternoon because the um, the sun will be on it, so we can take a picture and whatnot this afternoon. Not at the bottom yet, no. Nope. So straight in front of the bus right now is that Zion Arch. It'll be on the door side, but we'll see it better this afternoon. But just so you guys can get a perspective of it this morning and then how the sun will move and light up the rocks in a totally different way and a totally different viewpoint. Um, so that way you guys can get a great uh, viewpoint of, the, of both sides. Does that sound good? Are we at the bottom yet? Not yet. So if you look down to the door side of the bus, you can see the road that we're about to be on. And that's the bottom down there, but we're not there yet. No, we're not gonna fall off. We have the best driver in the whole world. Oh my gosh. <laughs> drivers think it's fun to do switchbacks like this because you get instead of just driving in a straight line you get to turn the wheel back and forth and just have fun down the mountain but if people are freaking out you're scaring Dennis so don't freak out we're totally safe right <laughs> really cool right
We've decided because we're fighting over what uh, what word to call it. Magnificent, Hawaii, we're deciding what, what. So we've decided on awesome sauce and banana pudding. All right, so we're at the bottom now. Now everybody, if you're on the door side of the bus, look up. It's crazy that we just came down that mountain. So um, right now we're gonna cross over a little bridge. Okay, it actually is just, it goes over a, um, no, it goes over a flash flood uh, riverbed, dry riverbed. But this bridge is made out of every color of sandstone found in the park. Mm. That is so banana pudding. So um, last year, um, I have to find where, it might be right here actually there was so rocks don't fall off very often right because I mean they're solid rocks but we do have rock slides every now and then and right through here I think because they've already fixed the road and everything we had a huge boulder fall off last year and it came tumbling down the mountain and landed right on the road so it was so big that we had to shut this road down so you couldn't come in through the east side at all you had to go all the way around the mountain range and go in the west side because they had to they had to uh, blast this rock apart because it was so big so um, it took like three days for them to get rid of that rock I mean that, it was a big deal I mean it was a huge rock so but it doesn't happen very often so when it does happen it's very interesting and it makes the news and everything because it's uh, pretty cool okay that's not a good thing so um, we are gonna go yeah. side of the bus, on my side of the bus. Yes. What river is this? No, not the Colorado. Virgin the Virgin River. Mississippi. <laughs> All right, so now on this side of the park, we're going to look for mule deer, okay? So everybody keep your eyes open for some mule deer. And when you find, it's the one that looks like a deer. It's the only deer we have, yeah. Yeah, so the reason they're called mule deer is because they have really big ears, like a donkey, like a mule. So let's uh, see if we can find some. So um, this, this river, actually, the Virgin River, is a very powerful river here in Zion National Park. And every year it takes out about a million tons of sediment out of the park. So what is sediment? little tiny rocks really good okay so a million tons of sediment so do you think this park is always changing absolutely yes um, is it vis visible to our eye not really no but it is constantly changing when it rains here and it snows um, little bits of the sand is being washed off into the river and the river carries it out so remember when we went to, through the Virgin River Gorge yesterday and we went through St. George the river flows through there and so when it gets that weird ucky muddy color that's because of zion national park that's because it's helping um, take some of the sediment out so if you look over to the side of the bus right now you can kind of see a long time ago there was a landslide here so you can see where all that land came down um, when it does rain there's uh waterfalls that come off of this hill hilltop now um, it's very pretty but um but it's the landslide has now solidified and it's now hard again because it happened so long ago we have a lot of cotton trees growing along the virgin river yesterday when we were at the park did you see all that fluff flying around yeah 